all right my people welcome back onto this channel thanks so much for subscribing to this channel our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors as you keep supporting this channel we say very big amen to that well more trouble for bola ahmed Tunumbu, as nigerians already saying it's not his turn hmm, that is serious well onto this one says Tunumbu, you walk all Tenombo, it's not your turn by Bayo Uluwasami. All right, my people, the news in details. Beyond this cathedral of lies, the issue of his health is of grave concern, and then his age and the medical condition are against him. Well, on to this presidential candidate for the 2023 elections are resorting to fuzzy math, half truth, and then even outright falsehoods to complete for media attention and then votes. The worst offender so far is Al Aji Bola Hamed Tinumbu, APC presidential candidate. The lies that continue to dog Tinumbu are not new. The lies have been part of his political diary since he joined politics. The authenticity of his certificates, the schools and the university he attended, his parental background, his real names, etc., are hanging on his neck like the sword of Damocles. Well, on today's According to the statement, I quote, the issue of certificate is not the problem per se. It is about his character. How can Nigerians thank God I am a Yoruba citizen of Yoruba nation elect a president? They don't know his names, his age, and the names of his parents. Hmm. How can they elect a president? They are not sure which schools and the university he attended. Tinumbu cannot name one of his schoolmates or friends in primary school, schools, in primary secondary schools, and then course mates at the university. All right, and beyond this cathedral of lies, the issue of his health is of grave concern. His age and the medical condition are against him. His supporters always foolishly urge that U.S. President Joseph Biden is in his 70s. True, does Biden exhibit deteriorating health problems like Tinumbu? No. Does Biden wear diapers? Of course not. Are Biden's speeches laced with goofs like Tinumbu's? Absolutely not. There is no comparison between oranges and then apples. Whenever Tinumbu speaks in public, he always goofed. A few examples will surface. He said PVC has an expiration date. People are tweeting on WhatsApp 50 million youth will be recruited and then fed with cassava in the morning. Agbadokon in the afternoon and the Gari in the night. Malami switched off phone lines on the national grid. I bet Tinumbu cannot even count 1 to 100 without skipping numbers. He can't hold or handle any object without his hands shaking. He can't leave home without dappers. All these are symptoms of old age. No one can fault him for this and then other mirrored health issues. Tinubu believes 2023 belongs to him because he brought General Muhammad Buhari to power. Nothing belongs to him. The presidency is not a compensatory gift for him. His die-hard, noisy, brainless jagabandits said he made Lagos a better city and then Lagos state a state of pride. How? How how many schools, hospitals and the roads did he build? How many jobs were created by him? Instead, he impo impoverished Lagosians. He made Lagos 
a mega slum metropolis. Tinumbu, where are the cows? Where are the youths who were killed at Lekito Gate? Where are the youths who were killed at Lekito Gate? Tinumbu, where were you when Yorubas were being killed, robbed, raped, and then kidnapped in Igaga and then other Yoruba states? The history of the combined 23 years of Tinumbu and then his handpicked governors of Lagos State is a history of avarice, history of land seizure, confiscation of properties, monopoly of government contracts, recruitment, training, and then retention of tax, unrestricted looting of the state treasury, and then other avaricious practices tinumbu iwo kolokon tinumbu it is not your turn all right my people and then uh, this one had uh, been said by bayo uluwa sami all right my people and then uh, this is what we are getting so far on to this one what well, majority of things do had uh, been said about the fact that tinumbu will can never you know become the president of nigeria a lot of you no know, Clergymen had said a lot of things concerning this, and they know a lot of people have been like, Well, if Tinubu is not going to be the president, then who will now become the president? We've heard a lot of things from different you know, people based on the fact that, in fact, the youth on their home part are not happy with the situation of the fact that Bola Ahmed Tinubu had wrong to the youth that was during the, you know, the lucky tour. No massacre. No, a lot of people have been like Tunumbu was the one who sent them. He was the one who ordered the killing. And there's some side of people have been like the federal government knows about it. And then you know, simply because Tunumbu, you know, according to majority of people, owns the Lekki Toe. Hmm. And at the end of the day, we noticed Tinumbu had to travel out of the country when the pressure was high. And a lot of people said a lot of people died. And even the Lagos State gover Governor was not an epping issue i sat then and a lot of people raised eyebrows concerning this then what are we exactly talking about majority of people have seen it that tinumbu is of age and then you know, he is health issue and so many other things because of those stuffs he might not be able to take care of nigerians and then the apc government also according to what had been happening the people are of the opinion that you no know, the situation to which we have found ourselves in this country the deteriorating condition of every aspect of the country according to oh, my friends and then they will tell you no everything had been worse since apc you no know, gained no, the presidency and all that since they gained leadership, nothing had been working. And they look at it right now, and then you know, Tinumbu happened to be the one who brought in the president, the incumbent president, as we speak. And all that, a lot of people are reasoning that that will not make Bola May Tinumbu to become the next president of the country though we see have some set of people who are still in support of the movement that oh tinumbu is the next president simply because of i don't know peanuts that has been given to some of them simply because of the promises he promised and then you know, we understand that majority of people who actually you know, stepped down Yes, the people who actually stepped down for Tinumbu were paid some dollars and the rest of it. Oh, and the people have been like, we can no longer continue with this kind of leadership. That how long are we going to continue like this? And the majority of people do have reacted in different forms that Tinumbu assistance right now, you just need to go and relax and take care of your health. Hmm. With the kind of money you have made, hmm, we think you need to relax and then take a proper care of yourself well majority of things do have been said well according to this passage no tunumbu earlier said that it may look on but according to the passage hmm, it says tunumbu it will call local tunumbu it is not your turn all right and then this has been said by bio Ulua Sami on this one. Well, the majority of people have actually reacted in different forms until this one truth 
truth they say is always bitter according to what we are getting right now well hmm. okay and then as it stands right now we don't need to abuse him this one is coming from sugar so all right it says we don't need to abuse him he will live to see his celebrating in 2023 and then i will not blame him he is doing what his paymaster asked him to do all right so okay i think this one is coming from shogba so i don't know he's reacting to right now well speaking the truth can you fault what is said all right this one is coming from guess to hmm well according to an anonymous person on this says well tinubu should just come out plain with his full profile and then lay all these allegations to rest if you want to be president over nigeria tell them who you have simple all right so i think that's another advice coming from an anonymous person on that aspect okay Otinumbu said it is my turn but not god says it is a steno. All right, this one is coming from Leonard Mark. All right, oh, hmm. Well, majority of things, though, are actually being said unto this one. Well, our prayer has been that the good Lord will continue to you know to guide us all, protect us all in this country because hmm, we don't know what is going to happen come 2023, and then that's exactly another thing. Majority of people are scared of hmm, because right now these parties, different parties, are taking it like a do or die and that's exactly what we have seen so far onto this movement well according to one day rade says well since buhari refused to give this guy job at aso rock this man has been writing rubbish hmm, okay all right this one is coming for one day rabbi well oh, that's another one we are saying okay and then whatever tinumbu Look on or not, February 25th next year will tell. Hmm, Tia Egbono Tia Bai She. Hmm, well, I don't understand what I'm trying to say right now. Okay, well, it's a February 25th next year will tell whether Tinumbu look on or not. All right, oh, and that's exactly what it is. Well, my people, majority of things though have been said on to this one. What more can we say? Me, well, let me have your own take on this, my people. and Remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel. Alright, thanks and God bless.